All right, just a quick story. Positive, we gotta get into the positive. Um, one of the positives of Javier Millet's uh, uh, being uh, vo- elected president of Argentina, and one which I think um, the ANCAPs in the United States won't like, is that Javier Millet is, in spite of declaring himself an ANCAP and in spite of his, his radicalism and everything, put aside all the economic policies, which we'll see what he can get done and what he can actually pass. But one of the really good things about Javier Millet becoming president is that he is unapologetically pro-America and pro-Israel. Indeed, he is a thousand times more pro-America than an anarcho-capitalist in America, and he's a thousand times more pro-Israel than an anarcho-capitalist in Israel. And as part of this, the Millet administration has already announced, even though they haven't taken office yet, that they will not join BRICS. Remember BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, um, South Africa. That his commitment is to the United States. His commitment is to the West. He's not going to join a China-led BRICS. He's not going to join Russia-led BRICS. He doesn't believe in communism or authoritarianism. He doesn't believe in autocrats. I mean, this guy, and he's got problems, but this guy is like so much better than any of the ANCAPs that troll me on, on, uh, on uh, Twitter. It's truly astounding. They want to embrace him because he, cl- he claims he's an ANCAP and he's a libertarian president. But he's like a, a, a light years ahead of them. And if you saw the pictures of him waving the Israeli flag, I mean, that must have sent chills down the spine of Dave Smith and uh, all the other, you know, pseudo, uh, uh, pseudo freedom loving uh, uh, ANCAPs. So uh, good for Millet. I'm, you know, I'm more excited by Millet because he's not, it's not just about economics. Uh, now, there are other things where I, I don't agree with him on abortion or some other things, but, but this is great. The fact that he's unabashedly pro-American and uh, pro-Israeli.